Let's directly come dancing star and singer florist and partner Vito Coppola stunned last week with their couple's choice performance. The high-energy performance left the judges stunned and awarded her with a perfect score of 40. However, on Saturday night, their rumba wasn't as well received by the viewers who branded the dance boring. On Saturday night the couple performed the rumba to two Lost in You by the Sugar Babes. However, many viewers were let down by the dance with at Tracy Tate 0651091 writing on Twitter, that rumba by Fleuriste left me bored, to be honest. Hashtag Strictly, come, dancing. Louise Lewis commented, the rumba requires a sinuous, sensitive quality to the movements. This was sorely lacking say soir, I'm afraid. Michael Dows added, bowler opposite to last week Fleur, sorry at Stymistress said, good dancing again tonight. I still love Hamza. Still not convinced about Fleur hashtag strictly come dancing. Kirsty Evans claimed, the lighting was awful for this, this really is her worst dance. At Caroline IU1 stated, sadly felt something missing. Sick, the performance seemed to leave the judges underwhelmed as well despite being praised for her technicality. Motsi Mobuse praised, well, the rumba, it is not an easy dance and you gave it a go, I saw it and what I love is I saw that you were trying to be very technical about it and the explanation and we see it through the dance. In between, I thought breathe Fleur, just breath, let it go but it's okay, it is better you keep it tight, keep the center, keep it moving than being heavy. Like I said I would have liked a little bit of lightness but the connection between you two and the technical it was visible that you, had, done a lot of work on that. Shirley Ballas added, well, first of all, I thought it was extremely passionate, I was getting all hot and bothered sitting here watching, and you have definitely learned to control your energy without losing your sense of freedom, so that part I really enjoyed. Dot transferring weight from foot to foot, was, also very good, very nice leg action a good attempt at that. Maybe a little bit more rotation and definitely exhale and breathe so I would say out of the whole performance you just missed it through the breathing but the leg action, congratulations, the foot action, congratulations and the passion between you, congratulations. Anton Dubeka congratulated, well I sort of banged on this whole series about you controlling your energy, your best performances have been where you probably internally feel like you are not doing anything. But that is absolutely the way you have got to go because you have so much, you have got to just keep it in and you did wonderfully in this dance which enabled you to stay in time, beautifully on balance. If you let it get too free then you are out of balance and out of time, I felt you had control of the dance and not the other way around, so well done. Craig Revel Horwood stunned the judges when he agreed, well I agree with Shirley about the breathing, I felt like you were holding back and that was a block for some reason within the dance. But I have to say and I agree with Motsi as well, I love the connection that you have with each other, I thought that was really wonderful, the storytelling was exquisite and it was passionate, thank you. Discussing how she felt after her performance with Claudia Winkleman, Fleur explained, I was like this dance has so many rules and coming from our couple's choice which was just free. This was so hard but I felt like tonight we could actually enjoy it and I really liked doing that. Craig scored their dance an 8, with Motsi, Shirley and Anton all awarding them a score of 9, leaving them with 35 out of a possible 40. Strictly Come Dancing airs Saturday from 7.15pm on BBC One, followed by the results on Sunday.